Hey everyone, Blue Commander here and welcome back to another video. The other day, Seth Bling created a brand new creation called Bling Edit. It's really cool, I'll just quickly show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure lots of you have already seen it. You, it's basically World Edit in vanilla and you can do lots of different settings. But the cool thing about this is it also has these things called plugins. So he created a way for other people to create their own plugins. He also created his own one called Vegetate. But apart from that, no one had really created any yet. So I set out to make my own and I've got three here today for, to show you. So let's quickly get into how to install them and then I'll show you the features. So first of all, we need to locate our world we would have already created, hopefully. Just click the edit button and then click the open worlds folder. Now once we've done this, you need to open the data packs folder and you won't have any in here yet, but then you just need to go on the internet and you need to go to this document in the description. This is the Bling Edit manual. So on this page it describes how to use it, but also on here we've got the installation for the actual data pack. So you just need to click here and he also has some plugins of his own. So as you can see, his Vegetate plugins on here. Really cool that on his Reddit, I posted about my three plugins and he actually added one of them onto the plugin downloads. So that's really cool. But anyway, so that's how you get those. And that's why you'll see these two in here. You just drag them in your folder. And once you've done that, then we can get some of my plugins. So on my website, as you can see, I've got a new area called Bling Plugins. And in here, I've got the three I created. So Water Flood, Forester, and Topsoil. So you can go to each page and you can read about them. But I'm just gonna download every single one of them. It's got a direct download link, so you can just click OK. And by the way, I had so much fun making these that let me know if you enjoy these or if you're a fan from Bling Edit and that's how you found my channel and I should make some more. I had so much fun making them, I probably will make some more anyway. But I could create a little series where I create some. I am planning on making a tutorial series on how to make your own Bling Edit plugins as people seem to be struggling. But apart from that, we've now hopefully got our downloads. Um, now we just need to go back to our data packs folder. Okay, so now we're back in our data packs folder and all you have to do is open your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded them into. You just need to highlight all of them. You can't see this, but hopefully it's self-explanatory and you just need to drag them in. So here's the three here and there we go, we've got them all. You don't need all of them. You could have one of them, you could have two of them, you can have all three of them. But once you've done that, you just need to go back into here and just reopen your game. Okay everyone, so now when we're back in our world, all we have to type is slash reload and the bling edit message will pop up. By the way, sorry if the screen resolution turns out to look really weird. I didn't go into full screen mode so I can show off the chat easier. But anyway, now it's loaded, we're ready to get our one back again. And as you can see, it's working as normal. However, if I select a region and click plugin, you can see my three versions are here now. So I've actually had to re-record this segment because I released build 1.1 of my plugin and I'll show you what's different in that. But first I'll show the basic features. So as you can see here, I've selected my region. First I'll show, I'll show water flood because that's the least exciting. So for water flood, when you press it, before it just uh, flooded the top layer. But with this new version, you can flood the entire region or just the top layer. So if I click top layer, as you can see, it will place all the water block above the height of the floor whereas if I do entire region it's gonna just flood the entire thing so I'm just gonna quickly press delete as part of the normal functions and that's basically the water so I've also just realized that that wasn't the new option which I had in 1.1 that was also in the first one the new option I was thinking of which is new in version 1.1 is the new forester option so if I had to select a region if I click plugin and if I click forester it'll obviously forest a region I have some trees so if I select it this is the new option I'm talking about so before you could only make it go on grass but from a suggestion I got on the reddit someone suggested that I should be add an option where I can place it on all blocks and that's what I did so if I just do grass only it'll place the trees only on grass but hopefully if I press on all blocks it may place one in between here no it didn't also there's some bugs with this one because it grass blocks well the grass is treated as a block so it can place on them it won't place on buttons or anything which has a tag but in 1.13.1 there's a bug i think it's a bug there isn't a plants tag so i can't target every plant unless i do one at a time which will just cause a lot more commands so i didn't do the plants it just does it with like buttons doors trap doors things like that but that's the reason region selected uh, what's also new with my version 1.1 is as you can see i dropped my sword again 
Anyway, as I was saying, what's new for version 1.1, and this applies to every single uh, one of my things, so water, flood, forest, and the one I'll show you after this, but it also has a progress bar, so if I quickly do this, and you've probably seen it before, but if I go forester, all things, it'll do progress on the top and the second hits the end, it will complete the thing. So this took a while to do because there's a bug where I didn't actually finish at the end of the boss bar, but I managed to fix that so it turned out to be really cool. And by the way, I made it so on all blocks doesn't apply to oak leaves, otherwise you'll find trees stacking on top of each other. I mean, maybe some people would have wanted that, but I think generally people didn't, so I didn't add that as a feature. But as you can see, that's Forester. So finally we've got Topsoil. Now Topsoil is probably my personal favourite. It's also the one Seth Bling added to his manual. And there's also been a fan creation which made like a version one, a version two sorry, and a version three. I'm still going to add versions of my own as you can see, but he created his own version where he had lots of different settings which I didn't have in original Topsoil. But as you can see, if I click Topsoil, it'll basically change the highest uh, block in every XE column. So each one depending on the highest place will do that. So if I click set block, all I have to do is press the button and I can put in any block I like. So say I wanted it to be a diamond block. I want to do diamond or why not? And if I press enter, it's gonna do the progress. And as you can see the highest point in each one is replaced with diamond door, which is really cool. I could do it again. I could set it to oh wait I have to repress the button. Topsoil, there we go. And now say I wanna go let's do beacons, why not? And the progress bar is a really cool addition, I think. I didn't have it in the original version because the bo uh, boss bars were only added in Bling Edit version 1.3. But as soon as he added it, I added it to my plugins. So that's basically all the features of all these. They're really cool. I may add some more. I'm also going to be releasing more plugins. I may start a series, as I said, where I might just make like a trio of plugins each one and just show them off and like I said next video I'll be starting a new series which is how to create your own bling edit plugins if you're not interested in that don't worry I've also got a one command slash data pack coming out next week so you can be excited for that but apart from that that's all I've got for this video I really hope you enjoyed if you're from the bling edit reddit or you're just new around here be sure to subscribe I really appreciate all new comments and the originals of course anyway thanks for spending some of your time with me today and I'll see you all next time Bye.